Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental Health Tutoring. We had just moved, so sorry for the mess behind me. Things will be a lot cleaner soon enough. But I would like to give you guys some advice, okay? So this is advice for any um, dental hygiene student out there, even if you haven't started yet, if you're in your first semester, your last semester, here is some advice um, for you. And I can say this, because I've been a tutor now for 13 years, and I took the dental hygiene program twice and it was hard. Um, I did not take it twice because I failed. I took it twice because the first time I took it, I was three weeks away from graduating and my school shut down. The owner of the school literally walked away, closed the doors, and there was nothing that anybody could do about it. But that's a long story. I did um, actually explain that in another video, so feel free to watch it if you want. But the second time I went to school, obviously I passed. So I have a lot of advice for you. And in hindsight, you know, I wish that somebody had told me all of this advice. So my first word of advice is that dental hygiene school is hard. It is, but, but everything worth um, doing is not easy, right? It's not easy. Look at your um, dentists, your um, medical doctors, your surgeons, your lawyers. None of them will say to you that school was easy, okay? It's not easy, it's very expensive, but it's worth it. If this is what you want to do, push through it. You can do it. A lot of people will tell you that it is so hard, that it's so impossible, that you won't be able to do it. Even some of your teachers, if they're having a rough day, if you have a bad teacher, they will make you feel like you can't get through it. So hopefully you will have amazing teachers that will support you and not hinder you. And that is part of what I do as a tutor is I do help all of my students with, you know, pep talks. If you need to cry on my shoulder, that's okay, you know, online, because I don't tutor in person, I tutor online, but I am here to help you guys to offer you support, because that's the best thing that you all need is support, okay? But push through it, you can do it. If I can pass, if, you know, she can pass, if, if you know, she can pass, if other people can pass, you can too, you just have to push through it. Um, another thing to keep in mind is you are all learning something for the first time, right? So the first time you learn something, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard as heck. But the more you practice, the more you study, the more you learn, it becomes easy. I've been tutoring now for 13 years and things are easy for me. When I first started tutoring, I probably had to look in all of my textbooks before I taught a class. Now I don't have to because it's all up here. It's the same with going to school. Your first day of school will be overwhelming as heck, but then by your next semester or the semester after that, you will say, wow, that stuff was actually really easy. Why did I find that hard? Just push through it, you guys. You can do it. And if you need help, if you need a pep talk, if you need support, let me know. Um, another word of advice is to understand that your mom, your dad, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your um, roommates, they won't understand what you're going through. Only people in your program will understand. So you being annoyed that your sister doesn't understand why you have to stay in on the weekends to study will not help you. They won't understand, okay? Your um, family, your, um, your uh, friends, your family, they will want to go out. They will want to have fun, but you will have to stay in on Saturdays and Sundays to study. They will want you to go out, but you are in a very competitive program and they won't understand that, but it will be worth it. I'm not saying to stay home every Saturday and Sunday, but you will need to spend a lot of that time studying. In a year or two, you will be way ahead of them. You will be making more money than all of them because you took the time to study. When I was a student, I didn't have a life, but I don't, you know, that is okay. I have a life now, okay? Um, I worked part-time, sometimes I worked full-time, I was going to school, I didn't have much of a life, but you know what, I didn't care because I knew that soon enough I would be done school. So another word of advice is to remember and say it over again to yourself if you need it, school is not forever. It will be over soon, but do the best you can 
while you are in school because it will be worth it. Another word of advice is some teachers will not like you, okay? You will have some teachers that you will hate. I'm sorry, I hate to say that, but you will have some teachers that you can't stand and some teachers just won't mess with your personality. I, I had this. When I was in my program, I had two teachers that everything I did was wrong. Yet the person beside me did the same thing and she was right, you know, so some teachers won't like you, but the best thing that you can do is push forward and I guess play what they're playing. Okay, so what I mean by that is talk to that teacher and say, what can I do to be the best that I can be, you know, clearly I'm doing something wrong and she's doing something right. So what do you want me to do to be the best that I can be? Because I want to be um, the very, very best. You might be thinking, I'm doing everything I can. I am doing more than she is, yet, yet the teacher loves her. She doesn't love me but that's okay. Just play what they're playing and just talk to your teacher and say, you know, what can I do to be the best that I can be? You might be thinking in your head, this is really stupid. I, I was, I was thinking, okay, so this teacher doesn't like me for whatever reason. I'm just going to pretend like I care and I'm going to ask her what she wants me, me to do. Um, to do and that's exactly what I did and then things got a lot easier so you will feel that some teachers do not like you some classmates won't like you for whatever reason but that's just normal you know that is college get over it it's okay you might look around the room and say all of these people seem seem to be understanding this topic why don't I understand this you might need some help. So ask me to help you because I tutor every single day. I have courses, I have, I have everything. So if you need the help on a certain topic, if you need the help on everything, let me know because that is what I do. So as you look around at your classmates, you might be thinking that they all understand and that they're having an easy time. They're not. They all have to study just as hard as you are. Even if they say that they're not, they are. They have to study just as hard. And you might be thinking, well, they seem to be getting high marks. Things are so easy for them. It's not. They are pretending, okay? It is tough, but it's worth it. Another thing is you do have to study for all of your tests and all of your exams. If you're thinking you can study the day before to get a good mark, you can't study at least a week before, okay? Plan your time, prioritize your time to study and get those good marks. You might be thinking you don't have time. Make the time, okay guys? Make the time and do not be ashamed to hire a tutor because you wanna pass the first time, right? If you think you do not have the money, make the money, find the money somewhere. It is a good investment and things will be so much less stressful for you. So those are kind of my words of advice. I can't think of any other kind of common questions that students have, but if you need me, let me know. I am so happy to help because I had opened up my um, Dental L student program about a year ago now, and students love it because I can help you from your very first day. I can help you with all of your tests, all of your exams, all of your projects, I can offer you support when you feel like nobody else is listening because I have been there, I've done that, I totally understand. So let me help you guys. And if you have questions, let me know. I will see you guys very, very soon. And thank you so much for watching.